Okay, good morning, guys. It is too early in the morning. I've only had half of my coffee, so forgive me. I had done an entire voiceover while I was working on this image, and this is um, me showing some the sketch that people were like, oh, do you sketch? Like, blah, blah, blah. This is me showing, hey, this is what a pre-agreed upon commission will end up looking like. They're a lot more thought about and they're a lot more considered so you're going to be seeing the uh, bearded vulture that i have been working on um it's currently in the line art stage so i ended up doing a really long rant uh, not rant um muse i suppose is a good way to say it about face shapes body shapes how things connect blah 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 and i was just like whatever they just want to see how i sketch so i'm speeding that clip up and i'm just gonna this is sort of the intro so hello and welcome um the actual section itself of me talking is about 32 minutes long um you are more than welcome to speed through. I'm absolutely not offended. Uh, but I thought I would still leave my original commentary in. Because I do think it uh, could be fun to listen to. If uh, if you're into that kind of thing. So do enjoy. And I will leave you to the rest of it. And talking. I'll admit, I don't talk to myself normally. So this is a new experience, and I do hope that no one hears me and thinks that I am really just going crazy, as they've all suspected for a while. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. Another one of my go-to poses is focusing on the back. The curvature of the body. That's when I am giving a little bit of attention to the face. Just enough, just enough to know what are they looking at. I'm feeling, feeling like. spine and I like to leave the waist connect to the top of the thighs instead of having it be a completely separate piece it helps me you can also add a circle there and then whenever you whenever you attach something you really want to pay attention to the volume that you are compressing Connecting ears. Everything connects. No matter what you do, you should have a set ratio. A set um, ratio. Is that the right word? A set, like, when you draw a face, no matter what position, you're going to have your eyes, and then you can base everything else off of those. So for me, it would be having the eyes here, and out from them come the ears mouth connects to where the pupils and nose goes at that center line. So even if and ears generally sorry those are too high up generally speaking 
don't show if you have a three-quarter profile, so ignore that. <clears throat> so, in this case, with this rabbit, I am having the ears still connect where they would normally, even though it is like an animal. With my anthros, I like to have a sort of like pre-understood how I'm going to uh, I'm going to connect everything so that no matter what I draw, there's still, um, I suppose that's how your style shines through. And that's something that even if someone copies your style, and copy I say semi-jokingly, takes inspiration from your style, unless they're using the exact same ratio, your style is still what you developed. The only thing you should ever be concerned with is someone actually taking your name, trying to take your business. I don't know what I want to do here, so I'll probably leave that. I might try to narrow the face. I did. It's, t it's a little human. It's a little too human for me right now, I have to say. There we go. Look, rabbit. Uh, right, so as I was saying about volume, you can see it. So this piece is being stretched when you draw the thigh up, so there aren't really going to be any lumps other than the bit. And then you have you make it a little bit of a where things cinch, pending, you know, the fat levels of the character. You may have rolls right here, but not as many here. Whenever you have rough spots, you want to reverse them with smooth. So here, using a semi-basic understanding of how the thigh works, you have something that goes up when that pressure is applied, and it's something that is up normally anyways, and it is accentuated. And then, pause. <clears throat> There's no particular reason why I suddenly started sketching in bright pink. I have a terrible, terrible no good habit of doing that. thinking, when I get to this point, you know, I'm thinking, do I like how the pose looks so far? I go over it, rough out more details, think about where is the other leg going to go? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? I think I'm a big sucker for um, feet that wrap around, so we might just do that.
Elbows are always going to be around where the waist is. That's sort of my ratio. So this ended up being a very compact pose, something that could fit within a rectangle. <clears throat> and I think, I think I'm okay with that right now. And then it's sort of, once you have, yeah, I think we could add, you know, another arm and have it sort of prop up. Maybe she's thinking. Yeah, I like that. So that's a little bit of, you know, action to break up. And I'm looking at a lot of silhouettes, so I'm looking at, you know, is that still fitting? Is that still fitting? I might change how this arm is done. It might be something to... Once you have a lot of that stuff roughed out, you sort of want to go back and you want to make sure everything is still anatomically correct is a bit of a stretch of a word to use, but I mean, yeah, how, if you were really in that position, would you have your shoulder this far forward? Probably not, especially if you're leaning forward. That's just about saying that that's, you want to fall, and I don't think you do. You're just thinking. You don't want to fall. So I think we're just going to draw the shoulder back. And then we're going to have this pull forward. So she's uh, applying the pressure. Applying pressure on uh, whatever she's sitting on, which we might explore it, we might not. We're really just focusing on the, the creature that we're drawing, not necessarily the uh, extra bits. It's too fluid. So. It's a little too far forward, though. Sizing things. You what? Yeah, I'm not happy with this. It's too long. It's just the feeling I'm getting. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's a lot better. Leaving it flush with the, the back is giving me a lot better feelings. Something, like right here, I'm having a really funny problem fitting together the arm with 
the paw placement that I chose. And I like this paw placement. I think that works. But what I'm trying to figure out is why I'm not liking the in-between. So what I'm doing is um, you have your start and you have your finish. And then you... You go in between. Hey, I get that. Hey. Excuse my cat. <laughs> hey, sweetie girl. Oh, you got your arm caught in my cord. <clears throat> and see that? It's right here, I think, that I'm really... Having problems with. Yeah, I'm going to elongate this a little bit. Okay, so now all of a sudden I'm like, I don't really like the fact that the paw is sticking out. It takes a lot of um, focus. Let me just have it stay in the back. Drop the tail down.
Okay, and so I think we have, generally speaking, um, our sketch. <clears throat> so, as you can see, it's a little bit involved. Uh, if I'm selling someone a... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if I'm selling someone a sketch commission, they're not going to get every single step before this. In fact, I will likely... Two options. You can either go through and erase all of these extra lines. Um, and then clean it up a little bit. So you can do that. You know, really just leave what's it's important still showing um, so like for here so any of those extra lines that aren't important just take out and you can sort of redraw in any of those details that got lost Fluffy butt. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, you can add some colors or whatnot. I think next step would usually be add clothing if there is any. Um, generally speaking, I'm not. on details. I really like to focus on the simplicity of a character design. Um, but why not today? Get a piercing. I guess this is going to be a bit of a uh, goth style. So now that we have the body as well fleshed out as we do, um, I like to go through and Following the, the lines of the body, the clothes up. Not sure what we're going to be wearing here. And like we were, like I was, like we were saying, who, who's we, Kate? Who's we? Uh, as I was saying earlier, tension. Where there is tension, there will be build-up. Um, generally around the shoulders, at anchor points like the elbow. Uh, and then we have... Don't do that. Well, this is... Okay. Saying, don't do this, don't do that, is such a harsh thing when, when talking about art. Because everyone, things that you do that don't work for someone else, it's going to work. And for me, one of those things is um, <laughs> painting the t-shirt under the boob instead of letting it hang and drawing the lines. You know what I mean? <laughs> The anime problem, I suppose, is what it could be called. And here, I'm realizing that I really didn't give enough place for the waist to be. And uh, I'm not going to go back and correct it, because this is just an example. But generally speaking, you would go back, you would either lift, or you would lower the waist, and then you would add in what you're missing, which wouldn't be too much. It would just be sort of a section right there. Again, digital art, it's not too hard. Um, and things like that, uh, some things aren't, aren't too important to fix. Some things, you it's okay for people to fill in the blanks. For me, I think this is too uh, attention-grabbing because it is at the center of the piece. So if I was really going to be finishing this, I would probably go and fix that. I don't feel like giving them shoes. Settle the arm better on the leg. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
<laughs> I think you've got quite a peeved one. I wonder what they're thinking about. Sort of. Sensual. The paws are doing. They're, for me at least, they're very important. Um, you still want to have these things detailed. Paws are one of them. Well, detailed is a subjective term. But. A fucked up hand will make people laugh at you. And probably correctly so. If you have so little care, I feel like, let's see, let me restart that. Someone who doesn't care enough to draw a proper hand or attempt to at least draw it correctly sized to a piece in my head it doesn't care. Now, of course, some people are like, I just want to draw a big boob. And the hand's just going to be right here. But when you draw the rest of the body correctly proportioned, it's just a little bit silly. And I think that it is not that hard to go back and resize the hand. Priorities are your priorities, and I suppose my priorities are simply different than those people's. But it's such a simple thing, and I don't know why people put in more effort. And there is obviously like, these are big hands. <laughs> but I definitely have a bit of leniency and like, what's my style to draw yaoi paws? But you should always, no matter what size, maybe you're just really into drawing really small paws and hands and, and that is totally respectable. But, but show that you have an understanding of paws and hands. It's a aspect of the you have to learn the rules before you break them kind of thing and me I'm learning the rules as I break them so who the hell am I to say anything um another let's see so that's sort of sketch v3 or 4 I'm not even sure anymore um sometimes I'll even go over that under that and add the color. So this might be. And this can help sort of anything that was hard to um, distinguish before. This can help a lot with gray pants, shorts. <laughs> As you can see, there's a very detailed clothing on this creature. Um, let me go through and set the layers to multiply so they're not so stark. Um, and then it's sort of... What color should the bunny be? brown. Brown, like a sort of peachy brown. Yeah, actually I really like that. So, <clears throat> if I had line art, I would actually be using the fill bucket. But, um, doesn't work with these sketchy layers the way that I use it. So I'm okay with drawing it by hand. And for fur, I like to block it in and then go in after with a locked layer and add in whatever markings I want to add. So let's see. Maybe. Maybe they want
And don't stress about what color you're using. Again, it's digital. You can fuck with it later. Hmm. Yeah, go like this. No, I don't want that. I'll leave the ear. So, say that this is just a little bit... Oh, fuck, I did it on the same one. <laughs> it's not as easy. Generally speaking, you would have this on a, on a new layer, and you would clip it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I forgot to do that. So, actually, it's not going to be as easy, but if you really wanted to change the color, you can go into Hue, Saturation, Luminosity settings. You can change the hue. And this only affects the layer that you have selected. So I would have used that for that really bright yellow color that I used um, to uh, kind of decrease how stark it is against. What would it look like if we turned off that layer? Uh, I mean, this is sort of like a more refined sketch. Um, So basically, uh, there you go. That is... Oh, good yawn. Uh, the rat's style of sketching. Um, I hope this helped at all. I hope this wasn't just incredibly boring. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do these video things and I'm having a lot of fun with them and so I hope that they are as helpful to you guys as they can end up being helpful to me. Um, talking about how I do things is really helping me understand how to do different things as odd as that sounds. So um, thanks for watching if you made it all to the end and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.